If you ever set foot in a Soul Knight Discord server, you will find that literally everyone is a rogue main. Rogue, along with his fast-paced, action-packed abilities and fascinating hair, is definitely the most played character in the entire game. But he's not the only one with a dashing ability and frequent invincibility. There is someone else who I think lives up to the legend that is Rogue and could possibly be even stronger. That is no other than Assassin. In this special episode of the comparisons, we are not comparing just skills or buffs, we are comparing Rogue and Assassin, both specializing in mobility and DPS. Who's better? Let's find out. The way that we're going to compare these two is by putting them side by side in multiple tests and see if we can determine who is better. Without further ado, let's hop into the first section, all the basics. For the stats of these characters, Assassin has 5 health, 5 defense, 200 base mana, 5 base melee damage, and 10 base critical strike chance. This is among the most balanced of any character. On the other hand, Rogue also possesses the same amount of crit chance, mana, and melee damage, but has 1 lower shield and 1 higher health. Generally, shield outclasses health in every single way, so it makes Assassin marginally better stats-wise. But, one other important thing is, due to the enemy buffs in badass mode, the presence of 4 damage bullets are much more common, and if both characters have blue shield, Rogue is practically crippled and will suck immensely. Other than that, I don't think this small stat difference would affect casual gameplay all that much. But, this is still 1 point for Assassin. The starter weapons is where we start to see the drastic difference between them. Rogue has a set of throwable knives that can also do melee, while Assassin uses a charge type pure melee weapon. I have standalone how to's on both of these weapons and I will link them in the description down below so I won't go into too much detail, but in my opinion the Bloodblade is an end game weapon capable of massacring levels with ease. While Jack and Mary is just okay, Assassin clearly takes the dub for this portion. The passive buff they have is also dramatically different. Rogue has Crit Pierce, a useful ability that synergizes with his first ability really really well and is a useful skill to have regardless of the situation and character you are using. Assassin have melee bounce under his sleeves. Although this skill is quite okay for Assassin himself, it is only ever useful in a handful of situations and only fits a certain type of playstyle and it certainly does not fit mine. Rogue, without a doubt, wins this section. Now, what's the most important and the hardest part to compare for me? The abilities. Since the update, all of the characters gained two more abilities and it has made my job a lot harder to do. As much as it pains me, I have to compare all of them. The first ability of Rogue is Dodge. The, I mean the most popular 
and worshipped ability in the entire game and its lifespan. It's fast, precise, satisfying, and it's just practical. It pairs up with high damage weapons like bread and butter, boosting damage and coverage to an insane degree. It is quite strong, but the low range and the nature of short duration and disabilities makes it actually quite lacking in the late game. Still, this ability is undoubtedly one of the strongest in the game, and it's just not a question anymore. Assassin has, in my opinion, the greatest ability for badass mode and normal mode runes. Dark Blade is just freaking fantastic. It has also many invincibility frames, and unlike Rogue, it is much longer and much, much more versatile. It might not be as consistent as Rogue having to actually recharge after 5 times, it is still miles beyond the measly coverage dodge provides, and not to count the powerful melee attacks you unleash at the end. The second ability of Rogue, however, is also pretty good. Aedo is fast, instant, and fun to use. The damage it deals is nothing to scoff at, and the bullet clearing is also quite useful. I wouldn't say that this is better than dodge, but it's still pretty good to use nonetheless. Cartwheel is an oddball that I'm not quite experienced with. It is the newest rogue skill and I see great potential in it. It fixes the short burst problem a rogue has and turns it into a prolonged invincibility, but it fails to capture the rechargeability and consistency of Dark Blade. It is also quite good, but I don't see it taking the place of Dark Blade anytime soon. Disappointingly, Assassin falls behind here. Doppelganger is freaking not good, man. No matter what the casuals say, I just cannot understand why so many people think it's good. The AI of the clones are poor. In later games, I only use the clones to attract aggro, and not surprisingly, it sucks at that too. Invisibility is actually quite okay. The attack area and damage boost at the end is really, really nice and the invisibility is great for letting you catch a breath in the midst of battle. Especially bosses, but in the end, it just seems too gimmicky and like not really good most of the time. And invis doesn't really work that well in this game because you know, you're not actually going invisible, you're just like basically detracting all of the aggro. For the abilities, the order I will rank them from best to worst is Dark Blade, Dodge, Cartwheel, I idol, invisibility, and doppelganger being the worst. To recap what we have just covered, Assassin has better stats, better starter weapon, and one great ability. Rook has better buffs and an overall better ability loadout, so which do I think is better? Quick disclaimer that I should have basically put this at the start of the video but ended up being here because it's too lazy. This video is purely my opinion. If you have any ideas or you disagree with the things I said in this video, I am open to discussion down in the comment section down below. I can already see all the comments, you know, all the haters hating on me because, you know, I said Rogue is bad. But, you know, I don't care. It's my video. I can do whatever I want with it. Back on topic. I am, oh, in my opinion, Rogue is only slightly better than Assassin. The fun abilities and practical buffs make Rogue a great choice for multiplayer, for single player, even for boss rush. If this was simply a comparison between the first abilities of both the characters, Assassin would take the crown super duper easily, but all of the lame abilities Assassin gained makes Bloodblade the only ideal choice you should play and is what dragged it down at the end. Anyways, thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, gentle kiss if you have reached this far, and goodbye. Whoa, what a ride that was. So, you know, like, future DL here, I just want to do a quick disclaimer, you know, it's not really a disclaimer anymore. The video is already finished, and... Uh, it's been three months since I've uploaded my last Soul Knight video. It's because I have a lot of stuff in real life that I have to deal with and a lot of stress from work and school. 
Hopefully you can understand my difficulties and it is my honor to create content for you. So if you enjoyed it, please do hit that subscribe button and the like button if you want to. And yeah, my next video will be most likely on Minecraft because I've just recently got into the custom mechanical keyboards hobby and I've got a lot of keyboards that I want to play Minecraft with. So stay tuned for that and this time for real, goodbye.